Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to show you 16 amazing photos that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by displaying these photos. But that's the whole point. These photos are proof that a small occult elite of and history to fit their narrative. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Acoustic levitation using the sound frequencies. By lowering the frequency of the acoustic wave to audible ranges, below 20 kHz, it's possible to levitate objects since the wavelength increases. What's more interesting is that the researchers say they can use this method to levitate even larger objects on a much larger scale. Pumapunku is without a doubt one of the most mysterious places in South America. Located in Bolivia, this ancient megalithic city has lured archaeologists to explore it for years to discover how it was possible to make such buildings thousands of years before man mastered any technology. The stones of Pumapunku are so precisely cut that even a razor blade can't fit through their interlocking joints, a technology that didn't exist until thousands of years later, at least according to official science. Incans believed this ancient temple had been built by the gods who created the world. German archaeologists found many ancient artifacts in Egypt and Tibet. Among the findings was presumably an ancient portal-like. These artifacts cannot be found today in any museum in the world. ancient building tech, even by today's standards, we have no clue on how was this built, and after thousands of years still standing intact. What did they use to cut these rocks so precisely? It's a mystery however, it appears that the cattle folk were far more technologically advanced than we are led to believe. The tortoise shell, and other designs found in nature, bear a striking similarity to visible sound or somatics at certain frequencies, illustrating the truth that God created everything by his word. By the way, this is audience hall in Vatican, which looks like a snake head, plus the weird demonic altar. This is the largest ancient stone block in Lebanon. A mystery bigger than that of Egypt's pyramids, it's this massive granite block weighing 1650 tons, perfectly cut and polished. Granite is the strongest rock next to a diamond. What did they use to cut this? Laser machines. It looks like it's polished and ready to be transported somewhere. However, it's impossible to lift this with all the technology that we have today. No crane in the world can lift a 1650-ton block. The Yanaguni Monument, also known as the Underwater Pyramids of Yanaguni, are located in the southwest of Japan. There are what looks like a couple of pillars, a stone column, a wall that is 33 feet wide, a road, and even a star-shaped platform. The most prominent part of the Yanaguni Monument is a giant slab of rock that is nearly 500 feet long, 130 feet wide and 90 feet tall. I am assuming that this is just a small part of an ancient city, which could possibly be linked to Lemuria or Atlantis. It is estimated that these pyramids were from the pre-biblical flood era, probably much older than 10,000 years. This photo shows pyramids in the Kola Peninsula, Russia. Most likely pre-biblical flood. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you.
the Shava Temple, India. This ancient masterpiece has been made out of a single giant rock, perfectly cut with such a high precision. When you step inside the temple, you are greeted with a hall and ceiling which look exactly like an ancient high-tech powerhouse. Despite being the shrine for gods, this temple has definitely served a purpose of delivering free energy to village nearby. We can only assume what kind of high-tech did they have back then before many resets ago. When you look at all these pictures and a tech on the ceiling, there is no doubt in my mind that there has been advanced technology involved in creating this powerhouse miracle, as even by today's standards it is unreplicable by modern man. When you realize that Mayans thousands of years ago had a better knowledge of astronomy than we do today. Astronomy is one of the oldest forms of science, from which came physics, math, astrology, and everything else. This was once America. Beautiful Tartarian architecture, which they have destroyed and replaced with their soulless buildings. In 2013, after heavy storms in Ecuador, a large female skull was found in Aloha province. Scientists determined the skull was approximately 600 years old. The discovery of the skull inspired a search for the rest of the skeleton, the parts of which were found and assembled a few weeks later. The skeleton stood at 7 feet 4 inch tall, which was astounding, considering that the average height of a woman in those days was only 5 feet 8 inch. Genesis chapter 6 tells us, there were giants in the earth in those days, and afterward. The biblical Goliath was said to be only one of four brothers. There are countless tales of giants from all over the world, from Norse, Indian, Mayan, Aztec, Incan, and Greek lore. What if giants are not myths at all, but a part of our actual history that has been hidden from us up till now? This photo shows an old world Chicago, Tartarian architecture. Most of these buildings are demolished now by the parasitic elites, however, they were much older than what we were taught. Mud floods, before and after. St. Mary Magdalene Catholic Church, Omaha, Nebraska 1908 after excavations, notice the door is now a window. The official explanation is given by archaeological science. You see, the accumulation of dirt and debris outside your house apparently adds up to about 50 inches every hundred years. Apparently, city dwellers on every continent across the earth, in Moscow, the Czech Republic, Denmark, London, New York, Boston, Seattle, Oklahoma City, and Cairo, were too lazy to pick up a broom. In World War II, a sonic weapon was developed by Germany that could literally shake a person apart from the inside. The sound waves created caused vertigo and nausea at 300 meters and could kill someone from 50 meters away. In the second and third images, we see interpretations from the Book of Joshua, where the Israelites, in 1273 BC, blew on trumpets to make the walls of Jericho to fall down. So, could these ancient people have really developed some kind of advanced sonic weapon like the Germans did? Be grateful that God has allowed you to see what is unfolding. Others that are asleep are not so lucky. Ask yourself, why you? Why now? I think about this daily, and it shoots my faith and confidence sky high. You've been chosen. Make no mistake. Thank you all that are part of this channel, I hope you enjoy the content as much as I enjoy creating it. I just can't tell you how excited I am about the future of this channel, because this channel is you. Thank you very very much, and I hope that after the awakening, you will never be the same. Love and light. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job all is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video.
stay safe and healthy.